Hello everyone. In this video, we will examine some of the user models that could not be analyzed due to modeling errors, and we will provide solution methods. Protostructure uses a sparse solver for solving the system of equilibrium equations, which is faster and requires less memory. The presence of unsupported members in the model causes the formation of a mechanism in the system. In this case, the building analysis cannot be continued because the equilibrium equations cannot be solved. Therefore, to finalize the building analysis, we should pay attention to create a proper structural model before analyzing the building. Let's start the building analysis to examine the mechanism formation in the sample model. Let's choose building analysis from the analysis menu and check the use sparse solver for building analysis under the model options in the settings tab. Then, start the building analysis. As a disadvantage, the sparse equation solver cannot give the exact address of the problematic node. As expected, we encounter a warning on the screen. To pinpoint the problem, we must deactivate the sparse solver. Then, you should start the building analysis again. When the building analysis is completed, the problematic points are presented as a list. According to this list, we understand that there is a problem with the nodes numbered 228 and 101 and that there is a mechanism situation at these nodes. We can detect the problematic points in the analytical model. Let's open the analytical model. In the analytical model, we can switch to the orthogonal mode by pressing the F12 key on the keyboard. Now let's find the problematic nodes. You can find nodes using the find command in the general tab. Let's search for node 101. The location of the node is indicated by an arrow. Let's zoom into the node and examine the problem. Here, we see that the frame member does not catch the beam insertion line. We need to fix the definition or reinsert the member. Similarly, let's examine node 228. We see that the end of this point has a hinged joint so, at this point, no stiffness component resists rotation. Therefore, we need to fix this problem on the model as well. We can also detect such problems by examining the displacement of the nodes. Let's check the analytical offset of nodes 101 to fix the error. We will have solved the first problem when we change the offset value in the Z direction to zero. Similarly, let's correct node 228. Let's define a continuous brace member here and start the building analysis again. As you can see, the analysis process was completed without any warnings. To summarize, we should pay attention to prepare a proper structural model that is well connected and suitable for the analysis. Although protostructure has tools to prevent malformed models, these types of connectivity problems can occur. Protostructure will issue warnings in these situations. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified of new videos.